Oh, hello there. You're watching the official Pete Pop Fans YouTube channel. Now, um, I've just got back from another visit to Alton Towers. We went there to renew our um, Merlin annual passes and we made a cheeky vi um we had a cheek um free cheeky ride on Sonic Spinball, a cheeky ride on Gets It Going, and a cheeky ride on Auction Alts and a ride on um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Now this is a different video. It's it's unusual because like you usually see unboxing videos for video games and stuff like that. But this is different because we today are going to unbox the Merlin Annual Pass Privilege Pack. So if you are an annual pass holder, uh, a premium one, not a standard, then you get a privilege pack. Um, at the moment, the annual pa at the time of recording, the Merlin Annual Passes are on sale. Um, before we start the unboxing, um, I'm going to show you what the um, new card looks like. So this is what the new card comes in. There you go. See there, and on the back it says have a hang on, have a splend. Uh, I'm gonna try and read this up. Have a splendiferous year. I think I've pronounced that wrong, but anyway, yeah. So this is what the new card looks like. Let's get it open. Oh. Let's get the my card from uh, last season. Just need to get my wallet. I haven't even unpacked. Like I haven't even got my stuff out, and you know. Let's see the difference. Hmm. I don't think there's much difference. Okay, so um, which ones are which? Okay, so this one is from this season, so there we go, like, basically, they made a change to, um, and this one, and they made a change from the 2014 annual pass to the 2015 one by adding a Union Jack flag, not much really, yeah, shouldn't have shown you the back, and yeah, it's still the same, it just has the expiry date and stuff. So nothing's changed there. Gonna put my new one in my wallet. Keep it nice and safe. And it expires um on the 17th of January um 2017, so I've got a long time. I'm gonna keep that for memories and souvenirs. Right, now onto the unboxing. Here we go. Let's unbox the annual pass privilege pack. We can get it open like this. Or do we have to think? Now this may be a, a long video, but I'll be able to edit it and stuff. I will admit, Merlin do make it hard to get into the privilege pack. Now, obviously, if you've got a VIP pass, um, you'll get a VIP um, pack. So, for premium, like I said, you get a privilege pack. And for VIP, oh, no, I haven't done it yet. Um, for VIP, you get a VIP pack. And that's for standard where you get nothing. And also, like, if you're buying an annual pass for the first time this year, um, and you want a recommendation, I'd say go pre like if you're planning on visiting the London attractions and you're gonna visit the parks are, then I say get a premium pass because you'll get free parking and stuff, no restrictions, and you can visit at any um, time. Um, but if you're not gonna visit the London attractions and you're not gonna visit the parks as much, then get a standard cheap two. Oh, here we go. We're in. Oh, your year of magical memory start here. There we go. Oh. Okay, so here we go. We've got the um 
Oh, the new annual Merlin Premium Annual Pass Lanyard. It, it's different from um, last year's. Um, they've got all the Merlin attractions on them. So obviously there, you've got Olsen Towers, uh, Blackpool Tower, that's Legoland Discovery Centre, the Dungeons, Sea Life, uh, Coca-Cola on the Line, Madden Two Swords, Legoland Windsor, yeah, Legoland Windsor Resort, Warwick Castle, uh, Jurassic Sky Fine, Shrek's Adventure, I can find the other end. Uh, Chessington, uh, Fort Park, and yeah, it, it's nice. Um, I, obviously I don't wear lanyards to the parks because like it's a bit weird. But yeah, it's a nice. If you like your your lanyards, then that's a nice old lanyard. Um, in here, let's see what else we've got. And that's for your lanyard, so like, um, you clip it on like this, to show you. I'm sure most of you know how to clip a line, um, one of these onto the lanyard, but, I don't know. You just clip it on. Like that, in there. It's on the lanyard. And then, you just insert your card into the... In the um, slot, I'm just using last year's as an example. I <laughs> know that looks a bit wrong. I know this unboxing video is going to take a long time. So it looks. Oh. I don't know how you do this. Yeah, but it, it should look something like that. You know. Oh. And for being a premium pass holder, this year you get a um, I Love Fun Miller and Your Pass Premium Pass Holder Pop Badge. So, if you don't know what pop badges are, well, um, basically you get them in kids' meals at Chesterton, Legoland. Not so much at Fort Park or Alton Towers, but like one, once you get a few, like 10 or so, then you can start trading for pops, pop badges that you like. Now, um, there has been like quite a few arguments about pop badges um, on the Merlin and your past group page on Facebook like apparently adults have been trying to get like loads of pop badges and stuff but yeah it's a really nice pop badge um, you just pop it on your lawn yard this is my second pop badge but I don't plan on collecting those so what you do is you just put this material like put the um, lanyard material through the pop badge and then you just um Put it on. Oh, no, that failed. That failed so badly. So, are you getting an annual pass this year? If so, just comment below. And uh, yeah, there we go. Your line and your pop badges on your lanyard. So, if you like wearing your lanyards and you like wearing pop badges, well, there you go. It's a win-win situation. Uh, I'm trying to get the other stuff out. Ugh. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can push this out. Oh, oh here we go. Trying to get this out. I think I've got it out. I think so. And yeah, here um you've got a fast track a five pounds fast track voucher for Alton Towers, a five pounds fast track for Fort Park, and a Five pounds fast track voucher for Chesterton. Also, free shared fund vouchers where you can bring a rent for ten quid. Really good. So there's all the vouchers there. Really good. Really nice. Um, this year, um, 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, in a later video, we'll be, we will be revealing uh, what part we will be visiting this year. Let me just turn them off here. Just don't want to rip them, you know. You know what I mean, I just don't want to. There we go. Done. So that is the unboxing. Let's just go through what we've unboxed. We've unboxed the um, Merlin Premium Annual Pass Lanyard. With this, where you put, pop your pass in and stuff. Merlin Annual Pass Pop Badge for your pop badge lovers. There you go. Nice pop badge. Just pop it out. Pop it back in. And uh, some fast track vouchers and some shed from birthday vouchers. Okay, so thank you um, yet again for watching another video of, um, on theme park fans. Um, obviously, you know, as you know, we've reached um, 500 subscribers, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, help our next, our main, our, our next goal now is to reach 1,000 subscribers. If you can help us do that before the start of. Um, no, let me think. No, before the start of next season is not a possibility. Two months now. Um, I'd like to see us reach one thousand subscribers before. I'd say before the. Um, I'd say before the start of June. So keep hitting that subscribe button. Support the channel. You guys, the fans, are fantastic. And um, yeah, we will be revealing what parks we shall be visiting this year. Um, and it's going to be a good year. I'm well done. You, you've watched people fans, and it's time to um close that video down. Bye, guys.